Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Live with Prima. My name is Steph Miller. And again, super excited to be here. Thank you for joining me. Tonight we have a really fun little class. It's a memory board that I created and it's super cute. I hope you love it. It's really super simple and I'm going to share a little story about my inspiration. Crazy fun. But first, welcome everybody. If you're a newbie, go ahead, log in uh, to the chat. Sign up for the Ustream. It's okay. There's no cost and Prima's amazing. They do this free for everybody. Um, and everybody online, thank you. We have a, a wonderful Prima family that joins in um, usually Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Super sweet, everybody on the chat. So jump right in. If you have any questions, feel free. If you're a newbie, um, a newbie, if you have a newbie question or you know, advanced question, no worries. Just post it. Everybody's super sweet, happy. Tonight our moderator is Miss Carrie Finnell. Carrie, from my scrap, be heart to yours. Thank you for everything. You are amazing. You guys don't know that, but behind the scenes, this woman pulls it all together for us. So very thankful. Alrighty, everybody, um, say hi to each other. Deb and PA. Hey, Kathy. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yes, holy smokes. I heard Lamore is coming to see you. I think that, I'm not sure who, who's saying that, but I know Lamore is coming into California. So I'm excited about that. She's going to be at Scrapbooking Forever um, with Deb. So crazy amazing. Deb, if you're online, put your link in, put your um, your Facebook page so we know. Alrighty, everybody, we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and pan down. Hey, Kathy. Alrighty. Okay, pan down. And we are recording. Excuse me while I shake the camera on you and get my straight this out of the way. Record. All right, so here's the fun little project that we're creating tonight. It's really simple. It's super cute. It's a memory board that I created um, using the Forever Green collection and a mix of other pro product. I'm going to go through the product and uh, show you what I used. This here tonight, this is a little coin pocket envelope that I attach to this memory board. Um, I'm not going to show you how to create this or this little mini album that slides in and out. We're focusing tonight on just this because time constraints is easy this evening, but please forgive me. Look at how super cute is this. This is the Forever Green. Just a little post-it card. That's it. Something to slide in there. Here's a little fun little um, flip-flop flying magnetic super cute flower so here's a little what I call a little pocket mini let me show you really quickly if I had another two hours I would show you how to make this but because I don't I'm just going to show you what I use I just use a regular standard manila envelope you know the the big huge mailing envelopes that's it. That's the base of this. And I covered it with the Forever Green prints. Right? Super easy fun. So loaded up with pictures and, and play. Um, just cute, fun stuff. Really pretty. And you guys can do this. Trust me. You sit down, you play, it works. Look at Oh my gosh, I lied to you. I, used this, I did this project a month ago. So I, I'm telling you wrong. Where's the envelope? It's one of the smaller envelopes. Oh my goodness, and I don't have it up here. I pulled the wrong one. This manila envelope, it's this size. I'm sorry, my apologies. Look, here's the envelope. I'm out of it today. There we go. So it's just one of those regular envelopes. It's the same color as this. It's this size of envelope. So anyways cute little pocket but really pretty look at how the forever green prints look right so you can take a basic little envelope cover it add some flaps to the pages and um, before you know it you have a super cute little thing and I thought this would be really cute to stick um, on my memory board I created this little pocket and I love it so on this side of the memory board I just have simple magnets that I've created with the flowers the new prima flowers really easy to make super cute Right? So I'm already thinking um, 
I'm going to go ahead and make some flowers for the teachers so that they can put them on their classroom boards and, you know, for gifts for the holidays. Pebbles, a little pebble magnet that I made. Really easy, super simple. This side is magnetic. This side, because I was plain, I did a cork on this side. And, if, and, and I'll get more into that, but these right here are actually push pins. I thought that was cute. And you're thinking, I know, Steph, how can you put push pins on here? Well, when I created this, I was just plain. I wanted to just sit down and just do it, right? So I thought, oh my gosh, I have push pins. Let's just play. I can always pull out this back paper, replace it. Um, because look, I turned this into a little magnetic tray. Isn't that cute? I love it. And look, oh, let me show you the product before I get further along. Let me pull out the product. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to um, post it, ask Carrie to email or text me. I'm right here. I don't get a chance to look at the chat very often, but she's really good about asking me questions. Let me pull the papers. Okay, so you guys have seen the Forever Green Prince, right? So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but holy smokes, beautiful. The dark contrast, the nature feeling, I love it. With the mixed bold reds that are in there that just pulls my eye in. I, I love this collection. It's one of my favorites. Um, here's the next print. Beautiful, right? Spread your wings. Here's the back. Really pretty. This one I just showed you. What one is this? This is called Orchard Fresh. I think this is my favorite. And then I think I just use this. And these are just the papers that I use to put that little um, pocket mini album together. But look, it's just three sheets, right? One, two, three sheets of paper to create that super cute little mini that slides into the memory board. Okay. I also used, okay, so here's my little story for tonight. Um, Hobby Lobby. I've been waiting for the store to come near me and I thought it wasn't gonna happen until about two months ago and I saw the flyers. So I got super excited. It finally opened, and when I was trying to fig figure out a base for my project for my Live with Crema, um, I hit Hobby Lobby. So this is from Hobby Lobby, and the tray that I used is also from Hobby Lobby. Where's the tray? Here it is. This one right here. Okay, you guys have seen these memory trays. Pick whatever up that you can find, right? I grabbed these because when I was going through the aisles trying to be composed and not let anybody see how excited I was that Hobby Lobby had opened, I saw these at 60% and I lost all my coolness. 60% off and I'm like, oh my goodness, now I'm running through the aisles talking to everybody and saying, holy smokes, look at that, look at that, this is super cute. And my game plan was go into Hobby Lobby, don't get a cart, go in, pick up the base, and then get out, right? Okay, that didn't happen, especially after the 60%, and then my eyes started wandering. Next, I have the salesperson with me saying, do you need a basket? And I'm like, yes. An hour later, I'm out of the store, and it was, you guys know, you guys know. So go to your craft stores, your your um, local scrapbooking stores. Mine is, um, oh my God, I have so many. Uh, and I can't think of them, my mind escapes me, but hit your local scrapbook stores first, support your brick and mortars. If they don't have something, you know, then hit the other stores like Hobby Lobby and pick up any loose ends in your online stores. Um, yeah, extra bonus, right? Okay, enough about that. So this I picked up. I picked up some cork board that fits perfectly in here. Just had to, don't know why it wasn't $4.99. It was something crazy like a buck or something. Um, I'm also using these stick pins forever. Well, I use this on my little album here up here. Super cute, right? You can use these on anything. Use your imagination. I have these flowers. Sorry about the glare. Let me get the glare out of here. Prima flowers. There we go. Super cute. Item number 5780046. Got it, got it. 
these are beautiful. These are the Cigar Box Secret Flowers. Look at the dimension on these. These ones pop. Love them. There's four in here. It, aren't those cool? I love it, and I thought, okay, the burlap flowers, got to have it with the forever green. And then the you know, Cigar Box complements the collection. You can't even tell that they're not the same um, collection. And this is 578657. Right? It's cute. I've ripped some of these up too. Got to play, right? So the um, these right here, Forever Green, there's 48 pieces in here. I love flowers, and whenever I see a package of flowers that has over four flowers in it, I grab them always. I don't care the size, shape, whatever. Grab them. They last forever. This one is 578688 Forever Green. All the different pattern papers in there. Cute centerpiece. I also use these cards, a 3x4 Forever Green. Look at my stash, it's almost done. Gone. And then also these right here, the resin icons. Super cute. But look at the box. Okay, so when I seen the box and I was trying to plan my project for tonight, wait a minute, wait, wait, before I get ahead of myself. 573362. Um, I saw the box and I put it down. My like, oh gosh, I love this box. And I'm sitting there with it, with my tray on top, and I'm like, holy smokes. Oh my goodness, this fits perfectly well right inside my tray. And I'm thinking, oh, I can create a pocket, right? So play. When you have your stuff down, let your imagination go. Things that are around you, just start pulling them together. So this right here. I painted it black with the new Finna Bear, the Heavy Just So. Look at this, the Art Basics. If you don't, this is one of the standards that you need to have in, in your stash, right? The Gessos, the white and the black. Um, yeah, you guys know all about that. Anyways, the black Heavy Just So. We we're going to paint this tonight, and it fits super cute in there. Here's the pebbles that I used that you guys seen, that one little magnet that I showed you. Don't forget your pebbles. Use them. Pull them out. They're super cute. They add dimension. They're thick, fun, easy to grab on and off. You know, play. What else? There's something else. This right here. And don't forget this beautiful script pad that we all have in our stash. Yeah, I could have used one of the Forever Green prints for the base back part of my memory tray but I wanted something lighter with some script in it and I thought oh my goodness where's that pad where's that pad and I think um, it took me like 15 minutes to find it it was underneath the last stack and, and yeah, you know what I'm talking about I know you know what I'm talking about anyways so I just pulled one of these beautiful papers and this is has been around for a while it's super beautiful item number is 844417 it's the script pad and it has um, a whole bunch of beautiful prints that are the warm cream color tones and browns uh, that have the beautiful script in it that everybody should have in their stash. I'm just saying. And then of course, you know, the paper is, you know, heavyweight substantial. So there we go. Alrighty. So does anybody have any questions? Good evening, everybody. And again, welcome to Live with Prima. Um, if you're a newbie, no worries. Join in. Everybody here is crazy, amazing, wonderful. Lamore, here, Lamore's online. Lamore, I'm so excited you're coming to California. I will be there at that st in Deb's store. And I'm excited that you're finally, you love us. You love us. Yay. Alrighty, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So let me show you the project one more time if you just joined us. It's just a simple memory tray. This side right here is actually a magnet board this side right here push pins because you know i wanted to play with those darn push pins i could have made the whole thing a memory board i mean a magnetic board um but i didn't because you know i had to play and then i thought wow i'm going to make this little tray releasable from the end from the bottom of it because um this is going to be sitting at my desk next to my computer and I don't know about you but I'm crazy about my passwords and I just wanted a place that I could just um, you know post my my passwords you know all the and I didn't want them to be displayed or shown 
So I thought I could just put a little white piece of paper here and then just add my passwords as I go. Someplace simple, quick, fast that I could get to, I don't know. Or, you know, use that little memory pocket and just throw them all in here. I thought that would be super cool too. I'm a, a nut about my passwords. They're always changing. And anyway, so let me show you this little tray really quick. I thought, oh, let's keep it simple. Let's put love here. So we have memories up here and love. Look at that, the ember stand right here, super cute. This is actually a push pin. Let me show you. You guys can do this, right? Very easy, push pin, put, put it through one of those beautiful flowers. And, and I know you're gonna say, gosh darn it, Steph, you're, you're putting holes in here, but remember I can always, you know, take this paper out and replace it or, you know. So this side will be photos. This side will be mainly receipts that are gonna stick up here. You know, the shopping receipts from the scrapbooking world that it shows me that I've spent way too much money. Stop, stop. So when the stack gets big, it's like, stop spending. Okay, let me go back to this. The tray, this is fun. Again, I'm sitting at my table and I'm playing, right? And I'm trying to pull my scraps of paper from the last project, um, just playing around. And I thought, oh my gosh, how super cute would it be if I add numbers here for like the days of, for the month, you know, the date of, you know, like, the 23rd, I could put two numbers in here, or I can just put sentiments in here, or wouldn't that be fun if I could add photos too? So I put a whole bunch of these um, pieces of paper in here, and I can put whatever I want on them, flip them, you know, change, I could change the picture monthly, just open the rings and, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I thought that was super cute. And if you don't want to, if you want to make the pocket permanent and you don't want to do anything funky on the background or the back of the box, um, then permanently glue it down, right? You can do what you want to do. Just play. So look how cute that fits in there. I mean, it's like perfect. Let me move it over here to the camera, right? It's hard to show you on the gum out of practice. But look, crazy easy, simple. And doesn't that fit in there perfectly? Black gesso on the packaging of the Forever Green icons. Crazy easy. The rings, fun. All right, let's paint. I'm gonna paint up this gesso box really quickly. Does anybody have any questions? Open that, get that ready. Hi, Laura. You guys have no idea how amazing um, the team that Carrie has together. I mean. Well, I, I think you guys do know. I just love the, the Prima team, and I'm thankful that um, I get to play with everybody. You guys also make this show for me. You know, when you guys join in, and I see you guys posting your projects online, that gets me inspired and super crazy happy. Let me get those over here. Okay, so really quickly, I'm just going to dump these out. I'm just going to paint this. Sorry that I'm going to spend the time. I could have spent time earlier um, painting this up, but I want to show you. This is quick, fast, easy, right? Quick, fast, easy, done. And yeah, I'm a nut. I, I keep that silly little cover. I do, I do. I do. I, I keep it. Don't know why. Just, I think it adds, I'm like, oh my God, my, the gesso. All right, so just get your black gesso. Look at how quick, fast, easy it, it covers, right? Don't be fussy, just do it. And I'll try not to spend too much time making it perfect. Don't make it perfect, right? Because if it's perfect, then kind of it's borderline boring, right? I don't know. But if you are a perfectionist, then do that. Do what makes you feel good. When you're crafting, it's about doing you. Right? No. Okay. And I also wanted to uh, let you know or remind you that there are Prima Ustream. All the classes are recorded. And I get emails asking, hey, Steph, you know, I have this collection that I've been hoarding for years. And now I'm finally ready to use the rest of it. Do you have any ideas of what I can do with um, this paper collection? And I always think, oh my goodness, 
go to the recordings at, you know, the Live with Prima recordings. There are so many different projects on there, and you can pretty much take any collection and recreate these beautiful projects with most of the um, products that you see. I'm trying to not get my hands too messy here. Anyways, and like well, the last week or the week before, I don't remember when, but somebody emailed me and said, Steph, okay, I have this print. Um, have you created any projects with it? And just by chance I had, and I just had a director go back to October Ustream, you know, the live with Ustream, and I sent her the link and, you know, and then two hours later she's sending me pictures of what she created and, and I loved it. So don't forget the recordings are out there. Okay, use the top of your box as your resting post, right? Quick, fast, done. And this stuff, it dries fairly quickly. Finna Bear, I'm super excited this year because she came out with all these wonderful mixed media things that, you know, the art basics, the art ingredient, everything. She's getting ready for us to play, right? And she's simplified everything, so there's no, the learning curve on all of this for the mixed media stuff is no worries. Don't think about it. If you're like one of those people where you're like, I don't know about the mixed media, I'm not sure, don't worry about it. Get it. Um, there's so many things planned that Carrie and the team have planned for you guys that you're going to see how quick, easy it is, and you're just going to fall in love and get hooked and yada, yada, yada. All righty, everybody. Let's see. Doesn't this black gesso just pop? And I am taking a little bit too long. I know I should go faster. But it's an opportunity for me to talk and look at the chat. Big super squeezy hugs to everybody from my scrappy table to yours. Um, the weekend's here, right? So play. Get your stuff out. Get your stuff out. Just do it. Do it with friends. Don't think about it. Okay, so on this little box, once it finishes drying, I just got my crocodile and I did two holes on the top. And I'll show you how I did that, just so I could add the binding rings. I should have painted this prior. But look at how fast and bold this looks. I mean, I love it. And oh my God, you know, Halloween's here, right? Jeez. And these little gesso jars, this is gonna last a long time, I'm telling you. There we go. I think that's good. That's good, good, good. Let me wait for it. Try not to touch my keyboard went out. There we go. I see on the screen there's this little white corner back here. Where is that at? And then I'll stop fussing. No more fussing. Alrighty, and there we go. I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Right? Quick, easy, fast. Look. Gesso it up. Spend time. I want it. This, I know that I'm going to be using the back of this. I think I'm going to give this to um, one of the boys' teachers with the little magnets and then make some extra magnets out of flowers for her um, boards that she has in her classroom and, you know, spend some give her some extra attention and say thank you for enduring. There we go. I love it. Simple with best done. All right, off to the side to dry. Let's see how long that takes. If not, I'll just dry it with my board. Okay, so now you have to see me with my black fingers. That's okay. So this is going to be fun during Halloween. Yep. I didn't bring any wipes or anything. Let me see. Do I have any in here? Are they dried out? They're dried out. They're old. Oh, here's some. Good God. Baby wipes, right? You guys know that. Janine, 
make a kit, please. And oh, by the way, there the um, birdhouse that I did last live with Prima that I love. I don't have it up here because it's downstairs displayed, but um, Janine is super sweet. Scrapbookdiaries.com. Can you please put your link? She created a kit, and that will be posted on my blog. You know, the kits go really crazy fast, and I get a lot of emails saying, Steph, you know, I tried to get it, but it's, you know, it's gone and available. And I just have to say, if you like it and you think that you want to make it, just order it because um, they go fast, and you can't really, um, we, there's, they're limited. How do I say it? They're, they're only going to be, the kits are only going to be put together once, so. All right, stop. You don't need to see me clean my hands. Okay, so let me show you the board. All right, go grab any board. Go, if you see something out and about, grab it. And, you know, take, if you think it's super cute and, and you think you can do something, just grab it. And if it's a good price for you and you're happy, take it home with you. All right? I, um... I've been wanting to do a memory board for a while and was looking for a good opportunity and gosh darn it, that little Hobby Lobby shopping trip um, pushed me over the top. Okay, so here is the, they call this a one cork tile. Um, and this is a 12 by 12, of course fits perfectly in the memory board as well as the other, the paper that I'm going to put on top of this. I know it's crazy but yeah, I'm going to cover this cork board. So pop this in, right? Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you can't see or if I'm out of frame. I'll try and do my best. And I just grabbed the Fabri-Tac and glued. You can get your glue gun. Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of pulling and tugging on this, so I'm not going to worry about it. Fabri-Tac glue, my go-to all-in-one glue, and I'm going to focus on the corners because I really want to make sure that those stick down, right? So I'm just going to pop this in really quick, and then at this point is when I went running to go look for my 12 by 12 script pad that I just love, and the opportunity to pull it out and play, and Look at this. Yikes. Love it. I was trying to think, should I use that one? And where's the one that I used? I guess I could bury it and do a different one, but the script on this is just stunning gorgeous. This right here is beautiful too. Here it is. It's at the front. Of course it is. Check out this paper. Check out this print. Isn't that cool? I love it. And it goes so good with Forever Green. I know it's not the best picture, but trust me, it's super cute. And again, remember that you can, um, well, I, you know, if you do create this and your push pins and you're putting holes everywhere and you need to replace it, don't sweat the load. Pull that paper up. It'll come off and put a new print down, right? Or redo the whole thing for the seasons, you know? <laughs> Crazy, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper down really quickly. Um, again, I'm just gonna focus on the corners here and there, right, and on the edges. I'm not being fussy about it. This is handmade and it's meant to look handmade and it's meant to look beautiful. Make sure the paper direction is correct. Now you could spend time inking the edges and you know doing all that if you want. But you don't really need to, right? Oh my gosh, look how fast. Okay, I forgot to mention something. Wait, right? Pull the paper. I forgot my magnets. Did I not bring my magnets? Hold on. Wow. What did I do with my magnets? I 
have magnets. Where are they? Good God. What did I do with them? That's there. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. How can I do my magnet board if I don't have my magnets? I had them earlier. I misplaced them. You guys should see my table. Wow. Holy smokes. Okay. Look it. Let me show you. They're on the floor. They're at my feet. They fell. <laughs> ah! Patience. Okay. So here's the magnets. And I got these at Hobby Lobby too. Crazy easy. I used these right here. Super inexpensive. Did you guys love that? The, oh my God, where are the magnets? Moment. Those are the fun times. Okay, these are the round magnets. They're, these are eight pieces. I don't think they were $2.49. I think they were on sale. But um, I used four, and there's four more left. So I'm going to show you those. And then here's, these are the photo. Um, you can actually put a photo on. These are meant to put your photos on and then put to your um, refrigerator. And I just grabbed these because I wanted half of the board to be a magnet, right? Because I was playing. And this can also be found at Hobby Lobby. And I, again, I don't think they were $2.99. I think they were a little bit less. So look, right? Put some Prima paper on here. Put a, um, a beautiful flower. One of the icon, one of these. Memories. Wouldn't that be cute? Put a little eyelet up here and um, turn it, give it away as a gift for, you know, the grandparents' memory for their refrigerator or something, right? That would be so cute. Put a little prima paper, photo, whatever. You guys know. You guys know. Okay, so in this package, you get one piece of the five by seven and then two pieces of the four by sixes. Just this right here, All right? So I'm trying to remember what I did, how I placed it. Did I do this, this, I don't remember, or did I just do? I took a picture. Sorry, I should have planned this sooner or went through it over in my mind. Let's see. I did take a picture. Here's my picture of my mess as I'm creating. There it is. I did only two. Okay. Good God. Thank God for iPhones. Okay. So I wanted the magnets up here. And because the board is down here, the box, I don't need to cover this, right? And then this right here is cork. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and I'm not gonna worry about it. Then on top of this is the other paper. The script paper goes on top of this. So here's my placements for my magnets. Just a really small place right here that I could put magnets for photos or something simple, right? and then go back to this print. Goodness, I'm glad I caught that before it, it dried. So again, here I go again, focusing on the corners so they don't pull up too much. There we go. And you know, I think I'm gonna put a little bit in the center. Just a little bit. So it holds. I try to get it out of the box. And it goes like this. So now I have my 
magnetic side right here and my push pin side over here. Right? So push pin here and then the magnetic side over here. Super cute. I love it, right? Prima doesn't work for you. They really do. Just take their stuff and enhance it. Play with it and it's good to go. Let me see if this is done drawing. Almost. Almost done. Look, you can see the shiny parts. It's the wet. I shouldn't touch it when I'm touching the other stuff. Okay, so let me show you really quickly how I created some of these magnets. Crazy easy. Pull out the flowers, dump them, right? Dump some out. I loved that one. And I thought the blue also look at the centers this is cigar box collection it's getting dark here already and I can tell the lighting's changed sorry and then these were cute Prima came out with some beautiful um, natural element looking flowers that I just love so they have like wood centers with script they have a whole different variety of these. And look at this right here. There's music notes. There's script on this one. There's like book text on there. Just really super cute. I, I love it. And then of course, um, I am talking too much about it, but the shapes of all the different flowers. I love that when they give us different shapes. Okay. So pull some of those out. I'm gonna do the push pins first. Look it, right? You guys have these. You try not to step on them. You don't let the kids near them. It's This is crazy what I'm going to do. It's okay. Get your Tim Holt scissors, right? Because they cut through anything. This long holding piece right here, we don't need this anymore because we're going to be putting a flower on top of it, right? The flower is what we're going to be grabbing to remove everything. Yeah, we're going to snip that puppy off and look it. We just want that piece. Just something that we can rest. There we go. That we can just rest the flower on. Right? Crazy easy fast done. Don't worry about it. It's okay. The piece that went flying, you'll find it when you vacuum later and you go, holy smokes. Right? I think I did, how many did I do? I did three flowers. So this, and you can either pull this apart, stick the pin down in the center and then reapply it, or you can put that, no you can't, well yeah, you can, you can put that there. Um, what I did was I pulled the flower apart because I thought it looked prettier and I'll do that for the teacher too, because, right? It's okay, gasp, I know, right? Put that in there, push it in. There's your push pin, right? We're just enhancing these flowers. We're just turning it into something useful. Crazy easy, fast. Get your glue out, stick your flower back on, and you're good. That was fast, right? Wouldn't this be cute um, to give to some of the teachers or, you know? and then set it aside to dry. You can also add other elements in here. You can put some Prima ribbon in here or you know, hang something. And then the next flower, I'm trying to grab that. I'm gonna use this, I think this one right here, the music notes. Super beautiful, right? Simple pleasures, music notes and one of these flowers maybe this one here for the top piece but i need to turn it into um i'm showing you what i'm going to make this is what i'm making right here i'm trying to make this ampersand right that push pin 
simple. Look at the back. I just glued the ampersand edge to the to this flower. You can see the push pin right there. No big deal, right? Look at how super cute. Just easy plain. Just play. Just do it with grins. You know. You know, right? So if you'll notice, I left the flower piece right here. I liked how it added that extra dimension, the pop on top. So I'm leaving it. Right? Right, right? Is that, isn't that right? No. Gosh darn it, I pulled it up because I put the pin in. I'm lying to myself. So go ahead and pull that little wooden piece off. Don't throw it away, use it. Put your push, push pin through, add your glue on top, add the next layer of your flower. Right? I love it. And then glue it to your hand. Right there. So pretty. And then set it aside to dry. Hey, Ty. Hi. I know when you're here. My son just came up. You want to say hi? This hi. is the first time. Do you want to say hi? Ready? One, two, three. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Look it. Right there. That's everybody chatting. Everybody saying hello to you. The, the chat has stopped. Everyone is watching. Carrie says, we are. And they're saying, watching, watching. And then look at Delena. She's super cute. She's also a live with Prima person. They're all amazing, talented, right? Like, like, right? Just say yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> say bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Go finish your homework. I think. Review it. Ten years old. Janine, ten years old. That's Ty. Ty Lowe. Okay, so look how super cute that is, right? There's the other push pin. And then just a really simple one, another just layered flower. Just plain, but you guys get the idea, right, right? And let me pull out one more. I think I just made three push pins. Um, when you're creating your push pins, glue them down. I didn't glue them down, I just realized. There goes another flying part. Yeah, add glue to the bottom of this, right? So they stick down. So when you pull them out, right? Hello? That's what happens when you're talking when you're creating. And I think I'm going to use one of these, the stripes. Simple, simple, quick, fast. So now I have three cute little push pins and done. Set those aside to dry. One, two, three, and this magnet. Let me show you the magnets really quick, fast, right? And clean. Clean up a little bit. Does anybody have any questions? Let me see. Weird. I just got the server disconnect error. Holy smokes. Are you guys having problems with the online still? Is everybody good? Are we good? Good. Let me look. Hello, Delena. It says, hi, Delena. I hope you didn't miss saying hello to someone who said hello to me earlier. <laughs> Laura, you guys are fun. So just grab some magnets. I grabbed with the thickness on these, right? So they're substantial, so they'll glue, right? Boom. And we're just gonna turn these flowers into cute, beautiful magnets. This was fun. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Truly, really done. There's that one. And then on this flower right here, I pulled, I loved this flower, but I didn't need another large, um, burlap flower because I already have another one that's a push pin 
So I just wanted, but I loved this green um, flower just by itself with a beautiful centerpiece. So I'm just going to turn this into another magnet to hold my pretty cute pictures, those school pictures that are crazy expensive. Holy smokes. There we go. All right, done. Another magnet. And then for the last magnet, I grabbed one of these large pebbles. You guys still have these in your stash. I know you, right? You pull, you still have these. Use them. Pull them out. Put them in your projects. Um, add them to your mixed medias. They're um, a staple that should be in your stash all the time. All the time. And then I'm just going to cover the bottom of this. I think I used um, my glossy accents, which I didn't bring up, but it's okay. So lip, I'm just going to go to my little print my little papers here and see if I can find something or I should actually use um, my scraps because I don't want to cut that paper all up right oh my god I am, I'm gonna do it I think I'm gonna put a little butterfly that would be pretty that doesn't pop, that doesn't pop. I want flowers. Butterflies and flowers are my thing. That's why Prima is my love. Okay, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut on this one. Ooh, that mushroom's cute. So these little pebbles, put it down, move it around. See, this one says, be kind. That is so cute. I love that. The little mushroom right here, that pops really good through there too. Right? It's just plain. Crazy easy fun. Those flowers. Okay, I think there's a butterfly right here. That's beautiful too. I love that be kind, but I already have enough sentiments on here. I think I'm going to do this little mushroom. Okay. So get your glossy accents. I don't have mine, but no worries. I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac and roll with it because this works too. Just press hard down, right? Swirl it around. Give it a nice smooth move. Let it set. Don't look as I cut this beautiful paper. It's okay, right? It's okay. That was a cute card, but look at all the other different elements that you can still get out of it, that you can still use it. Okay, I'm gonna set that to dry. Okay, is this done? No, I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Let's give it a quick. Let's give it a quick, quick. Holy smokes. My heated tool is. So cute. Look at that white spot right there that I didn't get. That's okay. I can go back later, clean it up. Okay, so I'm going to be putting papers on the inside of this, on these little boxes, to cover the back of it. So did I really need to paint all the back of it? No, not really, but um, it seals it, so almost done. So this is actually going to sit down here, and it's going to be the pocket, my pocket holder. I'm creating a pocket on the bottom of my memory board. So my memory board is going to be a magnet board, a push pin board, a place to hold my um, secret passwords, and um, post pictures on my little rings. I thought that was super cute. So a little tube fit in there.
any thickness. I'm just going to spread out. There we go. Good God. On the camera, I can see all the little places that I missed. I'm tempted. Tempted to fix it now, but I won't. Because I can easily go back and do it. Okay. I get it all dry because then my hands are going to start turning black and I'll get it on the paper and I don't want that to happen. Does anybody have any questions? Deb and PA. Oh. Crocheting. That's a beautiful art too. Oh my God, that's... I'm always amazed at people who know how to crochet and knit and they can do it in two seconds. And they say, oh, it's easy until you get those needles in your hand and it's like, whoa, loop what? I love it. But they, it's always staying gorgeous and crocheting. Such a fine thread. It, it just, it's, it's, um, it's very feminine. And I love that. Okay, so this tray right here is going to be at the base of this little tray. Look at how cute. Look how easy that, and it just pops right in there. On the edges right here, I'm going to put magnetic strips here and magnetic strips on the back here also. So it'll sit right here and I can take it on and off. Right? Let me show you. Ta-da! In order to save time, right? Look. So what you do for the inside here, here, and the back of these to put the papers in, you just eyeball it. You put your print on top like this, and you mark it with your pencil, and you just cut. You can sit there and you can measure it if you'd like, um, and it, it, I don't. And that's okay. And sometimes I have to go back and, and do another cut, but that but that's okay. So let me show you one because that would take a while to do. Also, I like these, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that piece. I'm gonna place it down on my box that I want to cover. Right, this one corner box. I'm gonna put the paper slightly recessed within inside the box, so it lays flat. And then I'm just going to mark it with my pencil. Quick, fast, no thinking about it. Just do it. This right here and here, and then cut it. Cut it, glue it, do it, right? So mark it. There's remnants. What project was that? That's great paper. What paper was that? Alrighty, everybody. And then let me say that while, while I'm sitting here cutting, um, thank you so much for posting your projects to Facebook. Those of you who do and you share your projects with us, thank you. Oh my gosh. I love it when you guys do that and you guys give me inspiration. So I appreciate it. Please continue to do that. And if you ever have any questions about projects that you see online, about anything that's Prima related, go to Facebook, post the pictures. We have we love it to um, help you guys find out what you need and and all of that because sometimes it's just easier to just ask, right? Just ask. No worries. I get emails and people say, Steph, I don't want to bother you, but can you? And I'm like, no problem. Look, look, here, here. I'm going to go ahead and cut out this little card and I'm going to um, 
put it in there. I, I love how it looks. It says, hello, birdie. Birdies, um, flowers, and um, what's the other one? Butterflies. I just, my, well, my sister always teases me, and she says, you have a thing for birds. I'm like, yeah, because she says every project I create has birds on it with flowers. So I'm just trimming out. I'm, I'm using this as my template for the first one that I did. Yeah, they're all not the same sizes of the boxes. These boxes are irregular. You'll notice that when you start playing with them, don't worry about it. Go ahead and start, just get your master template out and cut and trim as needed, right? I'm like, hello, birdie. And who is, does, is anybody online who is going to the Anaheim Art Venture? Is there anybody going? I'd love to know who's going. Grab your scrappy, your scrappy gal pals and head out of town, right? That's in January. That's going to be fun. If you have any questions, email Denny. They're, um, they're prepping for it. And it's getting closer and it's getting more exciting. And the things that we hear um, that's coming your way, <clears throat> I'm super excited for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to do two. I love how that looks. Put that one here. This one, hello, birdie. I think that's cute. Whoa. Wait for it. I stuck it in there before I was ready. Again, it needs to be trimmed a little bit more. See, they're all irregular shaped. It's okay. There we go. Glue it down. Glue it, do it. Simple, right? Cute. I'm going to go back and get my Sharpie and clean up the corners. I know you're looking at it going, holy smoke, stack, come on. Yep, yep, yep. No worries. Yep, yep, yep. And there's a hello birdie. I don't think I'm gonna use look at remember this? The Epiphany collection. Oh, yep. I think I have a good amount left. There's no scrap pieces of paper in here. I thought I had some. Darn it. I'm not using a whole sheet. What? What? Yeah, I thought I had scraps sitting in there. That's okay. I'm going to pull one of these script pages out. Want something light so that my love will pop. Right? We all want our love to pop. So see the light background and the black icon on top? Yeah. Quick, quick, fast up. There. Gosh, my cutting board is making sounds now. It needs to be oiled. It's cute. Straight cut. Cut straight. Put my little love in there. Love icon. Have you guys played with the new icons? The larger icons? These icon pieces? These? Have you tried to play with them? They're so cool. You can do, you can alter them. Lots of things that you can do with them. Incorporate them into your project. I'm gonna go ahead and put my love in there. I'm gonna center it. Nice substantial piece. I like the dimension on them too. They're nice thick pieces. They're not, so it gives a nice 
um, dimension. Makes it pop. Really pretty. Okay. All right, so we're just covering the inside of our box right here. I'm going to stop this for now because I want to show you the magnetic pieces that I used. And I think that I just used these two pieces here. And I cut them. Let me just do it. And I applied them to the back ends of the board. And you'll notice on this one here, let me show you the master one. Right here, I popped, I wanted them to sit up so I could actually turn this into a pocket, right? So things could slide in under. So I actually used a, a cardboard piece and then I got black chipboard and then magnets to put on top right there. So can you see that? Now you guys don't need to do that. You can go ahead and permanently put this down so it doesn't move anymore. I just wanted that little extra hiding place, you know, that I knew that I could pull it off. And then I thought it would be easy too. So I, when I'm flipping through this, um, I can pull it off, switch things out, you know, if I want to put dates or different pictures or, you know, whatever. Wouldn't that be a great idea too, to um, like give it as a grandma gift or something and then just send grandma a new set of um, chip pieces that she can put in here. I mean, wouldn't that be fun? It's like, okay, pull out the old ones, put the new ones in. I don't know. Super fun. Just different ideas that you can do. So these two, the magnets right here go right here. And then these two magnets go on the back of this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cover this really quick. With this beautiful print, it's so pretty, the butterflies right here. And I'm going to eyeball it. I wanted to keep the wood edge. Yep, I'm going to cut just the top of this print off. Gasp. Yep, cut it, do it, don't think about it. All right, so that sits there. I'm going to glue it down. Um, my plan, oh my god, that's super cute too. Look at this. That's adorable too. It's on the back, nobody sees it. Just me, I know it's there. I'm doing this side because the other one has, I don't know. Do something different. I'm going to focus on the edges to make sure it really glues down good because I will be putting another sheet on here, a little post it note with my passwords, right? Because they change forever. I forgot to put my magnets down. Let me do that really quick keep forgetting the magnets. I get excited, happy. Let me add, add some extra glue. So little pieces of magnet, right? Glue it, put it down. Yeah, no worries. That's why I love this glue because it allows you time to fix when you're two steps ahead of yourself and then you go back and you're like, holy smokes, wait, wait. Yep. Okay. And then that will sit there. Oh, I love it. Okay. Look at the magnets on the side push pins on the side. Remember, you can switch out your paper. Let's crocodile this. I'm going to add rings really quick. And I'm just going for the center in here. 
the center of that first box. This would be really cute as a calendar, right? Put the dates, put all the numbers, one, one through zero, or zero through nine on one side and zero through nine on the other, and there you go. Punch some holes. Super easy. Get your eyelets out. Did I bring my eyelets? I did. I brought everything. Pressed. It's been crazy hot here. I'm in Southern California and it's been hot, hot. I mean, unusual hot. And so I moved some of my scrap stuff downstairs because it was cooler. So I had to transfer my stuff upstairs to do this. Okay, I'm just putting some glue on the eyelet so it actually stays in place. Because there will be a lot of pulling and tugging on these rings, right? A lot of pulling and tugging. There we go. So there's our little things for our binding rings. And you guys don't need to see me add paper there. But look, get your album rings out. You can also find these at any craft store. Go to your home, your home scrapbooking store, they'll have them. The, the size of this right here, these are the one inch binding rings and they're black. I got these at Hobby Lobby too. You should have seen me. I was trying to be cool, walk through Hobby Lobby, go, oh yeah, another store. And inside I'm thinking, holy smokes, oh my gosh, if I ran out of something, you know, I can run over here and look and they have that. and. Um, normally when I go to the Midwest, I always would stop at my Hobby Lobby and um, grab something, you know, grab grab what I needed. And then, of course, they hold the beautiful Prima product, you know, that some of it's a vintage. So, you know, stuff that you can't find online anymore or you're know, having a hard time. So a lot of the times um, you'll find it at Hobby Lobby. Anyways, okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I did here on the bottom. Like I said, I added um, a substantial piece of cardboard. I think this is something that, like that, you know, just leftover cardboard right there. I cut a piece of it off, put it here, and then I put some card, um, some black card stock on top of it. And then I put the magnets. The magnets are black, so it fades in with the black card stock. So let me show you this one right here really easy and again like I said you don't have to do this you can um, put your cardboard or whatever substantial piece you can even get those thick magnets and put them here and then you can just glue this all down because you just pretty much want to be able to give it room to um, have your pocket for you know whatever extra stuff that you want to put in here let me see and I thought it was super cute. Alrighty, everybody. Hi, Darcy. How's everybody doing? You guys are super sweet. I love reading your guys' chat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody had a nice time. Remember, if you have scrappy gal pals out there who are unaware of our Ustream live classes, let them know tell them it's okay to get an account and it's free and you know it's our opportunity to get together and share and um and play Alrighty, does anybody have any questions there's my there you are again he's ready for me okay so if you guys have any questions um let me know say hi hi Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, some of the announcements next week is on Tuesday. Hello. You're going to be excited. Guess who's going to be showing up on Live with Prima? Guess. Wait for it. Wait for it. Do you know who it is? Who? Guess. Next Tuesday, Live with Prima. Who is it? Live with Prima with you? No, it's not me. I just finished. A celebrity? It is a celebrity. Guess, guess. It's you don't know. Just. Okay, 
um, well, I'll, I'll just tell you. Her name is Julie Nutting. It's Julie Nutting. Oh, gasp. But pretend like he didn't say that. Okay. Next Tuesday night, Ju hey, Julie hi, Nutting. Hi, Carrie. Yes, it is Carrie. Carrie is super sweet. Um, she's amazing. Thank you, Carrie, for everything. Um, so, Julie Nutting, she's creating a fantastic etched wood ornament from her collection. So, getting ready for the holidays already. That's going to be exciting, fun, beautiful. She that so that's September thirtieth at eleven a.m. You know, a day class. That's fun. The second announcement is a special deliveries kit. You know that Frank puts together the the kit. You know what I'm talking about. They're beautiful, amazing. There's over a hundred dollars worth of product in there, and I'm telling you, they they are. Yeah, you, you just got to get one. They're thirty nine ninety nine. Go over to the. Um, livewithprima.com and click My on the name shop. My Tyler. How did you know Chocolate Labs? Chocolate Labs. She's super sweet. Chocolate Labs. And she um, has, she raises Labradors. There's all, you know those pictures I'm always showing you? But anyways, sorry. Third um, announcement, the Art Venture, Anaheim, California. Email Danny. Um, he has all the details. Trust me. The things that they have lined up for you guys, I'm super excited for you because it's going to be crazy, amazing, fun, and it's right before um, CHA, so extra bonus. You'll be in town, and then also I'm excited because I know that Lamore is going to be in town too. So yay! Anyways, big super squeezy hugs from my craft table to yours. I'm going to pan down. Um, big hugs. Please play, create, post your work, and hey, that's so chat. Labs. Yes, it is. Special delivery boxes, yay. Get them. I love them. It's like opening a Christmas gift. Um, and Frank does an amazing job. He really does. He spends a lot of time and energy um, planning them out, making sure that there's enough materials for all the different types of projects. Germany beat Argentina in soccer. What? Okay, you need to stop. He's a big soccer fan. You ha what time's your soccer game tomorrow? Saturday. Oh, tomorrow's Friday. You're right. Okay. Big super squeezy hugs, everybody. Everybody have a good oh, evening. Oh, Joni. All right. Bye-bye.